be an enormous three points for the Montreal Impact. Miami fuming. I think they still think there should have been a late decision here. Welcome to Instant Replay presented by Cheez-Its. I'm Andrew Weeby, joined, as always, by the incomparable Charlie Davies. Quick question before we jump right into it, Chuck. Have you ever gotten a red card after the game is over? I haven't, but Gonzalo Higuain has. That's Inter-Miami's new star getting tossed by referee Tim Ford. Let's take a look to see why Higuain was so riled up. We start today's show at Red Bull Arena in a heated Eastern Conference match between Montreal and Inter-Miami. It's stoppage time, and the impact are just seconds away from securing the three points. Here's the throw-in, and here's Leandro Gonzalo Perez going down. Let's say somewhat theatrically. Rudy Camacho is furious. He's yelling, gesturing, get up! Just as Ford blows the final whistle. Higuain isn't letting this one go. Andrew, would you be in Ford's face too? Was this the correct decision? It was the correct decision by Ford, but I can also see why Higuain and Inter-Miami are running their mouths. Camacho is like the brother who lands a rabbit punch when nobody's looking, but then feigns innocence to mom and dad. Me, I didn't do anything. It's, uh, let's just call this borderline from Rudy Camacho. He didn't kick LGP hard enough to elicit that reaction and that flop, but he didn't do nothing. Watch closely. There is contact of the most unnecessary variety here. No wonder the Miami defender decided to try to buy a penalty kick. Had he toned down that flop, he might have gotten the call too. All right, Charlie, let's test those eyes. First half stoppage time in Chicago. Sporting KC's Amadou Diaz saves this Robert Barrett shot off the line. No goal is the call on the field. No freeze frame for you or the viewers. Did that ball cross the line? Cross the line it did. His foot was about a yard in. Goal. Boy, you are uh, more confident than I am. I had no idea live, but as you see the freeze frame, it starts to make sense. Offside modeling has our back here too. He says this is two inches inside the goal. Referee David Gentar and VAR Hilario Grajeda combined to review and overturn the call on the field, which was originally no goal. They got this one right without fancy lines and math. Well done, fellas. But did they get this Sporting KC penalty shout right? We sure got a lot of tweets about this one. I, uh, I wonder why. It's not like Kansas City supporters have had much to complain about recently. As I see it, this is an absolute penalty. Madron was not expecting SKC's Cam Duke to cut in front of him just before he cleared the ball away from danger. Instead, he caught the leg of Duke, who had already made contact with the ball. Referee David Gantar missed this one. I think Grajeda missed it too. That's a foul, period. It's hard for me to understand why it wasn't reviewed considering the contact on that kick was so clear. It might have been the difference between a win and a draw too. Toronto FC versus Atlanta United. It's tied late in the second half. TFC's Omar Gonzalez hits a long ball over the top toward Pablo Piatti, but Miles Robinson reads the pass and comes over to win the challenge. Piatti goes down and referee Fotis Bazakos issues a yellow card to Robinson for an elbow. Did this action deserve more? Charlie, I really want to see where Robinson's eyes are throughout this play, but we don't have great angles. From what I see, I don't see anything that would indicate this is violent conduct. Robinson is trying to get across Piotti and block him off with that arm. This to me is clearly a soccer play and just bad luck for the TFC man. That's a good yellow card. And it was a big weekend for elbows. Where'd you stand on this one from the Timbers' Eric Williamson on Eddie Segura? Referee Alan Chapman said yellow after video review, but man, that looks bad. It does look bad, but I am in agreement with Alan Chapman. The elbow catches Eddie Segura, but there's nothing malicious in it. Good job, Alan Chapman. Yeah, I think the Timbers broadcast said it best. If you look at the reaction on the LAFC players, they weren't looking for the red card, and that says an awful lot to me in this situation. Good call. Now, this yellow card in Minnesota looks an awful lot like a red card. It's the eighth minute, and the Dynamo's out of Lundquist is coming in hot on Hassani Dodson, who had to leave the game seven minutes later. Referee Ted Uncle says yellow, and you say... Yellow? This tackle checks every box for a red card. It's late, from behind, high on the leg, straight leg studs exposed with excessive force, and endangers the safety of Dotson. Adam Lundquist should not have been able to continue after that play. Referee Ted Uncle got this wrong, and Chris Penso should have had him take a second look. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be a red card for me too, and that's it from us. Remember, we take requests, folks, so if you see something, say something. Our Twitter handles are right here on the screen. As always, thanks to producer and editor Double Duty, Phil Lavanco for making us look good, and best to our guy Rich Hernandez, who's off this week. We'll see you next time!